In the past decade alone, we have witnessed brain-machine interfaces emerge from the realm of nascent futuristic ideas to mechanisms firmly rooted in reality. There's still so much we don't know about the human brain, but better technology and an abundance of funding in this field are turning the tables very fast. Until the start of this century, the idea of integrating human brains with computers seemed like something from the Star Wars. But the past few years have seen the creation of the realms of Metaverse and Neuralink, showing that humans actually are headed towards becoming humanoids or androids. Immortality has long been the most wanted item on humans' wish list. But now, technology is about to convert this dream into reality. According to a futurologist, by the year 2050, humans will be able to integrate their brain or mind data into computers which can be encased in a humanoid robot and thereby live forever. Writing about immortality on his website, Dr. I.D. Pearson talks about adding external computing capability to human brains. This additional capability will keep increasing so that by around 2050, 99% of our mind will be running on external IT rather than in the meatware in your head. This human computer mind meld will be seamless, says Dr. Pearson, who is a member of a network of technology futurologists called Futurizen. Well, that sounds very fascinating and too good to be true. But uh, 50 years ago, no one thought that the smartphones and internet can actually exist. So there is quite a chance that by the year 2050, we will be having androids or humanoids of our deceased loved ones sitting across the dinner table with us. Imagine uploading all your memories, your personality traits, your likes and dislikes, your social connections, your values and your habits into a robot or a humanoid that will act and perform exactly like you when you die. The only difference will be you wouldn't be in there physically but digitally. Ground realities indicate that Dr. I.D. Pearson wasn't wrong at all. At the recent Global Future 2045 International Congress held in Moscow, 31-year-old media mogul Dmitry Etskov told attendees how he plans to create exactly that kind of immortality. First, by creating a robot controlled by the human brain, then by actually transplanting a human brain into a humanoid robot, and then by replacing the surgical transplant with a method for simply uploading a person's consciousness into a robot. That seems terrifying, amazing and disconcerting simultaneously. In addition to Dmitry Itzkov, let's see what Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk are doing. Metaverse is about to transform the ordinary internet and Web 3.0 is about to unleash its glories on human beings. Its benefits are already unfolding in front of the eyes of everyone. It is a network of 3D virtual worlds where people can interact, do businesses and forge social connections through their virtual avatars. Think about it as a virtually reality version of today's internet. This was totally unimaginable until the very recent human history. While Mark Zuckerberg was working on creating three-dimensional virtual worlds, Elon Musk took aim at an even higher objective, connecting the human brain with computers. Elon Musk created Neuralink with an aim to develop brain-machine interface by measuring the flow of brain's neurons with the help of physically implanted electrodes in the human brain. There are over 86 billion neurons in the human brain. They send and receive signals from your brain to the other body organs in a two-way traffic. Initial goals of Neuralink are to read and measure the flow of all such neurons in the body through its specially designed brain implant chip N1. Neuralink is Alan Musk neurotechnology company which develops brain-machine interfaces. These devices have uses ranging from treating Parkinson's disease and restoring bodily functions in paralyzed patients 
to controlling computers with your thoughts and communicating telepathically with other users. All of this is towards the ultimate goal of facilitating a symbiotic relationship with artificial intelligence. And while the benefits of AI becoming Cortana from Holo seem great, the risk of it becoming Skynet from the Terminator is extremely asymmetric. Now, imagine the endless possibilities if all such technological research of Dmitry Skov, Metaverse and Neuralink are combined and this link of human brain with the machine is actually established. This fusion can give us more knowledge and computational ability than we could have ever achieved with just our normal brain. So, by the time the human body comes up and you are ready to die, there will be no need to upload your mind to cloud. It would simply grow into the new platform of some android seamlessly. In other words, the mind is very much still you and that data can be transferred or connected to a humanoid robot or android. From there, of course, you can connect to different androids of different shapes and sizes and presumably they don't necessarily need to be humanoid. On the other hand, 3D printing is now capable of using material which is similar to human flesh and skin. So, the androids could be hyper-realistic. Again, that sounds a bit terrifying. The technology necessary to replicate humans is highly accurate detail either already exists or is about to be developed. But the question is, should companies or anyone be allowed to go ahead? and bring all that technology together and produce highly realistic human-like androids that are indistinguishable from actual natural-born humans.